Hi, I'm Dr. Zach Watkins, functional medicine practitioner, where my goal is to help patients understand their health with regards to the four most common conditions that I see in my office, and those being intestinal problems, hormonal balances, fatigue, and fertility. And what I want to do today, and I'm going to start a short video series explaining, right there, three stages of adrenal, fat adrenal fatigue. Excuse me. Um, we talk about this all the time in my office when we go over test results and things like that. And I want to kind of post this for you in, in separate videos to give you an idea of what we talk about and kind of give you a glimpse of why this is important to your health. Now, the way I start is I explain that cortisol, and you may have read these things on my website and other places, so forgive me, but um, the way I explain cortisol is it's, it's a hormone that's produced in response to a stress. Now, we think of stress as we, we work too much or we stay up late or we drink too much beer or things like that, um, which is true. Not for me, but um, basically that means that um, it, more than just a stress response to our mind, which is a big aspect, the mental emotional part, a stress to our physiology in the terms of um, things like poor diet, food sensitivities, um, infections is a big one that we, we see all the time, even in patients with no symptoms, um, especially common in autoimmunity. So think of these stresses that we come across and the more that these stresses that we take in our lives, the more that it just burdens this response. So you may have remember back in, in high school biology, if you took that or if you slept uh, through it, basically is saying that, um, you know, back in the day, let's say we're being chased by a saber-toothed tiger. And, you know, obviously our body is going through this response of survival and not necessarily, you know, worrying about digestion or reproduction at the time. So as our body releases blood sugar for energy and we run away to save ourselves, you know, um, we get this heightened output of, st of stress hormone cortisol, and then when the threat is gone or disappeared, things calm down. And that's what we, and that's a good response. So in today's terms, what that means is, unless you're being chased by tigers, is our proverbial tigers are things like, like I mentioned, food sensitivities, infections, um, death or divorce in the family, uh, children can be a major stress, good stress, but also bad. Um, Women going through childbirth is a, is a stress. It's a good stress, um, but mentally, physically, physiologically, it's a big stress on them. And so I tend to think and worry about what their stress response is doing. And that's what we do in our office is I look at the stress response from cortisol DHEA, not to diagnose people or to get this magical response uh, lab that says, here, you need these crazy multi, you know, crazy multiple vitamins that you take and things like that. Uh, we do use those, but it's not just a... We see a problem on the lab and then we just give something and everything's fixed. We see what your body's doing physiologically and how that relates to your symptoms and even disease and disease progression. So what we talk about is these three stages of adrenal fatigue because you just don't wake up one day with everything's working physiologically normal and the next day, you know, nothing or you, you, you pooped out, if you will, or you don't wake up perfectly fine and tomorrow you wake up with type 2 diabetes. There's a progression that goes in there, and we want to look at that progression even with adrenal fatigue. You know, your adrenals are above your kidneys, and they help regulate things like, uh, or they make things like adrenaline, um, help, you know, regulate blood sugar, things like that. So picture we have these stresses in our lives, and our, our life is like a scale. So the more that we're putting the stress response on one side of the scale, that scale is going to tip. And that's a good response because your body can do what it needs to do to bring it back. The problem lies is where we keep putting stuff on that scale and we keep dropping and we get stuck and we pile more on and we go through life and pile more things on. And I'll talk further about how that works with the immune system and our detox capabilities, uh, how well we sleep, how well we make sex hormones and things like that. So initially, obviously three stages, you gotta start somewhere. So all these lines, if you're not dizzy yet, this middle response is your normal output of the stress hormone like we all should have. So you should be normal around here, and this is over a course of time. Our scale starts to tip because of those stresses, so we get this output of cortisol. And I'll describe what the bell curve means. So the output, your body's responding by releasing more to deal with those stresses, and that's, again, a good response. We want that because um, that's a good kind of check and balance for us. The problem lies is where, like hitting your foot to the gas, you forget to let up and you just go and go and go and you slowly run out of gas 
and this, the, the car kind of slows down. Um, same with you, this stress response starts to just not work as well. Um, it proverbially poops out, I guess, and you're not getting a correct response as normal. An interesting fact is cortisol actually is a brain hormone too. It tells the brain uh, kind of what to do from the neck down, so with your thyroid and ovaries, um, digestion, things like that. So if this hormone um, is now kind of out of sync, if you will, we went through this, what is called stage one. And we'll progress to other stages, as you can see. But we can measure these things on lab. And the importance for that is not to say we diagnose you with stage one adrenal fatigue, you know, that's some magical disease. It's what physiologically your body's doing, and it tells me and you why this is important and what we can do about it. So I hope this has served you today. I hope this kind of clears up, or at least beginning to, uh, what this whole adrenal fatigue craziness is. Um, we do it all the time in our office because it's a good way to get a foundation of what people's health is doing and why it's important to them. If you have questions or comments, post them to our Facebook page. Um, send us email uh, to our office. We'll try to, you know, try to get some responses to you and get you some help. Um, but stay tuned because I'm going to be posting more videos uh, to help explain this uh, a lot further. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.